Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this is Makeup and Motivation. These are my Monday uploads, 7.15 a.m. The reason I chose that time is so I can catch you before your day starts. And I, my goal with these videos is to really pour into you, to motivate you, to encourage you, and to get you thinking about the things that we really need to think about. And overlooking our lives and our decisions and our choices and our mindset and really move forward. So basically I sit down, read a piece of encouragement, whether I wrote it four years ago or in this case today. Um, the vast majority of this piece was written today and God just really, I felt like he poured into me and that this is a eye-opening piece and that we really need to be mindful of and pickier with, with our decisions. So today's piece is titled Feasting on Trash. We'll get started. How often do we feel like the very life has been drained from us? Physically, mentally, emotionally drained. Have you ever felt that way? I know I have more times than I care to admit that just overwhelming sense of feeling tired, just everything within you is just drained and exhausted and just in desperate need to be energized and restored and, and that feeling. How many of you have felt that way? Everything stems from our spirit, our soul, and yet we wildly neglect it. We don't feed our spirit, we don't feed our soul. We, we get so busy in the hustle and bustle of our lives our, our wants, our lust, our, all of that, we feed that, we feed into that, we feed into drama, we feed into gossip, but we don't feed our well-being, our spirit. Mm. And yes, this bump just loose here now, so we're going to avoid that. We consume trash and feast on sin, numbing ourselves with alcohol and self-medicating by smoking grass and before one of you jumps in the comments and says that god gives us the herbs of the field right correct but we live in a fallen world which in turn is cursed reason why we have thorns and thistles so case closed we listen and watch horrible horrible movies and songs that are filled with absolute garbage we're hateful towards others, impatient, we curse others and ourselves. But yet, we wonder why we're exhausted. Why you feel like your life isn't, isn't going according to how you felt, feel like it should. We wonder what we did to deserve this feeling, this feeling like we won't add up, like we are empty inside. Child of God, wake up. Wake up to what you are feeding into your body, into your soul, what you are bringing in. And I don't care. Some of you out there might say that you are just, you know, oh, I'm, I'm strong in my relationship with God, so I can, I can dabble in these things. I have heard that before um, by somebody who was greatly deceived. It doesn't matter your, your stage of your relationship with God. You cannot feed your body filth. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and yet we're watching these things, we're listening to these songs, we're dabbling in things we should not have any part of. We are living like the world, and yet we wonder why we feel drained, we feel exhausted, why we feel like everything in our life is just going downhill. Well, you're choosing downhill behavior. You need to wake up you need to wake up. Matthew 5, 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Why do you not feel like you are satisfied? How many of you have felt that way? I have. Continuously in my life, I have felt that way. But when I do feel that way, what am I doing wrong? Am I, am I hungering and thirsting after righteousness? Or am I lusting and thirsting after the world? The, I mean, in this day and age, we we have claimed the the term thirsty and thirsty you're thirsty after somebody you're lusting after them you're thirsty you're trying so hard we're thirsty and that's that's such a negative way to describe people and we don't want to be described as thirsty but y'all are thirsty after the world and yet you wonder why you'll never be satisfied why you're not content in your life why you feel this void 
within yourself. Transitioning from feeding into your lust to nourishing your soul, without a doubt, is going to be difficult. But it's one of the most empowering decisions that you can make. I'll be reading Matthew 4, 1 through 11. This is kind of lengthy, but bear with me. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Duh. I mean, obviously you would be. Some of us can't fast for three days. That's an ooh, that's another topic right there. And the tempter came to him and said, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus answered him and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms in the, of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these I will give to you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, be gone, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came ministering to him. The temptation isn't the sin. It's what you decide after you're tempted that dictates whether or not you sin. We must overcome temptation, make smart choices, and in everything seek God. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And remember, whatever you're faced with, you have the ability to overcome, to resist it. No temptation is stronger than you because you have the strength of the Father within you. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, I read this verse all the time in my, in my videos, but this one is so important to remember. There isn't any temptation that you have experienced which is unusual for humans. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And I think so many, so much of the time we feel like what we're going through, nobody else can relate to, that it's a weird experience and that we can't voice it and ask people for their opinions and what to do and, and all that because we feel like we're being tempted in an unusual way, but nothing under the sun is unusual. Keep that in mind. God, who faithfully keeps his promises, will not allow you to be tempted beyond your power to resist. You have the power within you. If you have God within you, you have the power within you to resist it. But when you are tempted, mm, when you are tempted because we are all tempted, when you are tempted, he will also give you the ability to endure the temptation as your way of escape. How many times in life have we felt pushed into things like we can't, we can't avoid this sin because peer pressure or whatever, or habit even. Uh, how many times have we felt like we can't, but we can, we can, we can, we can. It is as simple as deciding what shirt you will wear whether or not you sin or not. Exodus 15 2 says, the Lord is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. My father's God, I will exalt. That is so beautiful. So beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. And that's another thing. Some of y'all just aren't reading the word of God and y'all are missing out on so much. So much. So, so much. I was going to say another word to that, but I couldn't think of anything else. But you're just missing out on so much. There's so much peace in the word of God. There's so much beauty in the word of God. And yes, Old Testament, yes, there are some dark things, but it was dark times. I know a lot of Christians struggle with that and things that were allowed back then. But it was dark times and it was different times. But even today... Some of the stuff that we're going through society today are dark times. 
And I think that Old Testament wise, we had to have those dark things to understand what we're going to go through in the future. Um, rabbit trail. But the Lord, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. That's something I carry with me. And I've gotten that from my grandmother and, and my mom. I am singing hymns and talking to God through singing. I'm humming it and singing it throughout my entire day. That keeps my mind on God no matter what I'm going through. It tracks me back to the Father. And even if that's not your thing, praying in your head and, and being conscious of God throughout your daily life. And I know like with my sister and, and her raising her girls, it's we see God in nature, we see God in trees and the birds, and that's how she's teaching her girls to see God because God is in everything. And, and whatever it takes for you to see God, to be conscious of God, do it. Do it and don't feel weird for it. I'm humming and singing all the time. And while that may be weird or annoying to some people, I do it because that keeps me on track. A good head on my shoulders. So be mindful of what brings you into God because if you're conscious of God and you're thinking of God throughout your daily life, the routine of our daily life, whatever chaos comes up, whatever bad news, whatever, if you are mindful of God, life becomes easier. We no longer feel exhausted. We no longer feel drained. I feel my absolute worst when I am not clinging to God, when I'm not being mindful of his presence when I'm feeding into my lust of the world. And I don't want to feel that way. I absolutely do not want to feel that way anymore. And I'm trying my best to be mindful of what I'm choosing, what I'm deciding. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that it is encouraging and that it makes you really think about what you are feeding into your your soul, your dwelling place, your temple, because as children of God, we, as the temple of God, we are supposed to be tidy and to tend to our spirits because we have the Holy Spirit within us. Things hit us a little bit different and you got to be careful what you're soaking up, whether you know it or not. If you start humming a song that has mm, words in it and talking about things that's in you, and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize it. Um, it is so important to be mindful of what you're feeding yourself because it translates, it soaks into us, it comes out. Even if it comes out in a different way, it still comes out. And I just really hope that this encourages you and that we're all mindful of what we're feeding ourselves and that we stop feasting on trash. So be mindful of what you're deciding. Be mindful, be mindful, be mindful, and make, make good choices, sweetie. Make good choices. We need to all make good choices. I need to make good choices. We need to raise the bar with what we're deciding and do better. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out Artistic Religion. This will be a blog post feasting on trash. Stop feasting on trash and do better. Nourish your soul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. If you want to be notified when I post, hit the bell. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.